What's important is that they're here for the quality of the food. That's what we know. They're here for the ambiance. They're here for the uniqueness of crepes. You don't see it everywhere. So we really take pride in the quality of what we serve. Crepe Crazy is a favorite in Austin's crowded food scene. The restaurant was started by Vladimir Giedemann and his wife, who are both deaf. Now their two deaf children are co-general managers. The eatery's success is due in part to the delicious crepes, but the quality customer service plays a big role too. It's an experience that sometimes catches hearing people off guard. Usually they're surprised for sure, but the Austin community is really wonderful about the deaf, they're deaf friendly. When a hearing person comes up and they're a little taken back, we just try to guide them through the process using gesture and the menu and pointing it out and then they realize this really isn't so bad. It's actually kind of easy. Almost all of the crepe crazy employees are deaf and the hearing workers are required to know American Sign Language. Moa Devere manages the South Lamar location. Yes. <laughs> I'm a cook, uh, I make, uh, prep, I prep the food, I do everything A to Z here. So, <laughs> uh, I'm proud of what I can do, I'm proud of myself that I can cook everything. When I first came in, I was really nervous and I wasn't sure what to do, and I said, nope, you can do it, and then I started making the crepes, and it was pretty easy. Like Moa, Sergey and Michelle had very little restaurant experience before taking over Crepe Crazy. But both are now putting their college degrees to good use, keeping the family business thriving. We wear multiple hats. We do bookkeeping. We manage the staff. We schedule catering. We coordinate everything and just get it all to flow. I do most of the heavy lifting personally, I think that. Yeah. The Gietermans and their employees are an example for other deaf people with dreams of becoming a business owner. Students from the Texas School for the Deaf come here to not only learn basic life skills like ordering and paying for food, but to see role models in action. It's definitely a rare thing to see a deaf-owned business, and so we take the opportunity so that they can see, oh, there are people that are in the community that work, that, um, that can sign, and that there are potential uh, jobs out there and um, things that they can do. Basically, we're the showcase. A lot of deaf people come in and they're like, oh wow, you, you, a deaf owns this, you have deaf employees, everything is, you know, all of our contractors are deaf, our electricians, everybody. So when they realize that we're really just showing, it is possible. I hate the cliche, that deaf people can do everything except for here. But it's true, we can do anything. It, it's only if there's a little effort in trying to communicate. You really never know if you don't try. So we're showing this to say, you see how we can do it, you can do it too. As they look to the future, this brother and sister team have their eyes set on even bigger goals. We're actively looking for a third location currently. So when that opportunity presents itself, we'll definitely be going for it. And their hope is to keep this family business going for the next generation of Geekermans.